The day India became a republic within the Commonwealth was certainly historic. Beneath portraits of Gandhi and Mr. Nehru, the High Commissioner, Mr. Krishna Menon, read the proclamation at India House. India, that is Bharat, shall be a sovereign democratic republic. The High Commissioner then made and signed a solemn declaration of his allegiance to the new republic and addressed the gathering. Two and a half years ago, the British Empire passed power into the hands of the Indian people. We became an independent country and today, by the proclamation of our constitution, made by our own people in the exercise of their wisdom and their determination and their collective responsibility, we have set the formal seal to the inauguration of that freedom in the form of a constitution. Later, at the reception, he welcomed the many guests who included Lady Mountbatten. Mr. and Mrs. Attlee were there, and Mr. Anthony Eden. The occasion was undoubtedly a happy augury for future relations between the British and Indian peoples. To mark the first anniversary of India's Republic Day, the President, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, arrived in state at Kingsway, New Delhi. He was greeted by Sardar Baldav Singh, Defence Minister, and also by the Naval and Air Force CMCs, who are British. The march past by token units of India's fighting services was very smart indeed. There was ample evidence that tradition was being fully maintained. Representatives from India's most famous regiments were on parade, many of them veterans of World War II. Just returned from the Commonwealth Conference in London, where he strongly urged policies of negotiation, Mr. Nehru, the Prime Minister, now took stock of his country's military strength as troops, artillery and armour went by. Salma Camel Corps was a picturesque item in the big parade, and in addition to the armed forces, there was pageantry illustrating scenes from India's ancient history. Yes, Republic Day in New Delhi was certainly impressive. Driving in state to Kingsway, New Delhi, India's president came to take the salute on Republic Day. To Western eyes, the great march past was certainly a picturesque parade. The column was three miles long and included representatives of more than 60 service units. The march past, together with the pageant that followed it, was the Indian capital's chief celebration of the national day.